Hey guys, Ken here from the Retro Toys Capades channel in Malaysia. On the channel today, I'm taking a look at the Jurassic Park movie Triceratops figure, originally released by Kenna Toys in 1993 as an official toy tie-in to the blockbuster Steven Spielberg movie. Back in 1993, I do remember being at the department store and seeing the Jurassic Park range of merchandise, but at the time, I wasn't triggered to purchase any of it. It was just stuff that looked interesting on display. And the Triceratops was the one figure that I remember very clearly picking up to take a look at. I don't think that the store at the time had stuff like the T-Rex or anything like that. But the really interesting thing about the packaging for this thing was that it probably was the first time that I'd ever seen a toy or an action figure come in an open window box. You could directly access the figure without any sort of like plastic bubble or barrier or anything like that. And that's because this thing came with a new technology in the market for dinosaur toys that Kenner was pushing at the time. And it was the soft, flexible material that they were using on the dinosaur bodies to mimic the appearance of real skin. Now, up to that point, the best and most realistic dinosaur toys in the market had been Tycho's Dino Riders, which originally debuted in 1989. The sculpts on them remain a spectacular achievement in the dinosaur toy arena even 30 years later. Having said that, they still had traditionally hard plastic sculpts for the creature bodies, and this was the one key area in which Kenner and the Jurassic Park line would set themselves apart with. The realistic skin effect is really worth the hype. You get very detailed texture work on the body of the Triceratops. It looks really rough like animal hide, but at the same time, it's soft and flexible to the touch. The stomach sinks in and out like the creature is breathing. You get the same soft material on all of the feet, maintaining the realism of how this thing looks and feels, and also all the way to its tail on the back. This is indeed a landmark achievement for both dinosaur and creature action figures. Only the head of the Triceratops is made of hard plastic material. A very sturdy feel here, and the design overall is fantastic. Some of the Jurassic Park dinos, especially the ones that Kenner did later, will come with a glass eye. To increase their lifelike appearance, the eyes here on the Triceratops are painted, but it still looks very realistic and not cartoony or anything like that. On the underside, you get more different shades of paint with a mix of light green. The paint apps here are really strong. They didn't just go with a flat color and that just makes this whole thing looks so much more real. On the manufacturing stamp, you see the words all new materials and 100% polyester fiber, which reveals the secret of how they made the realistic, real feel skin on your dinosaur toy. The Kenner Jurassic Park dinosaurs all had a painted product stamp, which would be the JP logo and the product release number. So for the Triceratops, it's JP08. At the time, there's probably also a glut of knockoff dinosaur toys in the market, and seeing the JP stamp would help consumers identify the official movie products. The Triceratops has a few other special features, one of which is a carefully concealed damage wound. This is also something pretty new for the industry. A piece of the skin could be removed, just like the piece of a jigsaw puzzle, and underneath it, we would see some exposed bone and flesh. Now, why does it have this wound? Well, maybe it's got a skin disease, but more likely, this Triceratops has come under attack by another ferocious warrior dino who just wants to kill it and eat it. Yeah. Now, it can be extremely distressing for some people to see their favorite dinosaur injured in such a way. And I wish that it didn't have to be like this, okay? But unfortunately, not all dinosaurs eat plants. In the movie, the Triceratops is the favorite dinosaur of paleontologist Dr. Alan Grant. Who could forget the scene where Alan playfully rests on the stomach of the sick Triceratops who was having a stomach ache? All right, because that's what you want, all right? When you're having a stomach ache, someone to rest on your stomach. Now, I've reviewed Kenner's Alan Grant figure, which of course looks nothing like actor Sam Neill who plays him in the movie. However, this should give you a really good indication of how Kenner's human figures in the Jurassic Park line measured up side by side with the dinosaurs. 
The Triceratops has another special gimmick. Press the center of its body on both sides and this will activate its head ramming attack feature. The head of the Triceratops rises upwards to basically headbutt its enemies. The feature works great and I love the fact that they have carefully concealed the buttons so that there's nothing sticking out to disrupt the sculpt. Now, the Triceratops can face enemy combatants and headbutt them out of its way with force. It can also choose to have some fun playtime with Alan. Like so. <laughs> yeah. Guys, that's my look at Kenner's vintage Jurassic Park movie Triceratops from 1993. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Drop your comments below and I'll catch all of you again real soon with more content right here. Thank you and take care out there.